Santa Monica Update, your source for local news in Santa Monica. Welcome to Santa Monica Update. The city of Santa Monica had 6.7 million visitors last year. They pumped $1.39 billion into our local economy. Tourism accounts for more than 11,000 jobs here. Statewide, tourism brought in more than $100 billion last year. The cash income to our city in 2011 was 20% 20 larger than in 2009, which is a nice trend. The Santa Monica Convention and Visitors Bureau recently hosted their third annual Santa Monica Travel and Tourism Summit. Reporter Gail Choice tells us that tourism is big business and our Convention and Visitors Bureau is taking the lead in nurturing partnerships with other Westside destinations by sharing vital information and trends. Here's Gail's report. From Beverly Hills and Marina Del Rey to West Hollywood and points in between and beyond. Tourism specialists gathered together to discuss the state of their industry under the leadership of Santa Monica's Convention and Visitors Bureau President, Misty Kearns. It's really about powwowing and sharing the wealth of information and the good that's going on in the community. And then, yeah, we take questions from the audience, and if there's a difficulty that's going on, it'll come up. And hopefully we have the right people in the room to either address it or to go further and then come back to the industry and share what we've learned. A variety of topics were covered, including the economic role restaurants play in hiring workers, how the travel industry adds revenue dollars to our cities and state, and how new programs are being established worldwide to make an even more powerful impact on tourism in America. Carolyn Pichetta, who is the deputy of the state of California, is also the vice chair on Brand USA which is a new entity. Um, we're going to go into some detail about that, but Santa Monica has been very involved in, and all the way up to President Obama, who has passed a new act, the Travel Promotion Act, and visitors coming into our country will pay a nominal fee, and that money is collected by the government, and then it's reinvested in tourism promotion of the United States abroad. In Santa Monica, when it comes to tourism, we do the right thing right. We go the extra mile and we actually um, work with our residents, work with the business community to make sure that we are all involved in making sure that this is a welcoming place, that this is a great environment for people who are visiting. People who visit here spend money here and that helps benefit the community. We turn those things around and do good things with the revenue that comes from tourism. Kearns also announced the launch of the Thelma Parks Tourism Spirit Award. It's in honor of one of our former employees um, who has worked with us for 23 years. Worked up until the day she passed, a little 90 some year old, she like us sharing her age, Thelma Parts. And we're going to do a destination wide, consumer related and industry related uh, recognition program where we will honor an employee every quarter and then annually with a scholarship for further education, hopefully at our local establishments, but hopefully in the industry of tourism so that they can go on and build a career path for themselves as well. For more information on the Thelma Parks Tourism Spirit Award, go to www.santamonica.com slash spirit award. I'm Gail Choice for Santa Monica Update. Well, that's it for this edition of Santa Monica Update. I'm Tamara Henry, and for all of us at City TV, thank you for watching.